Hello, so I'm here today with Robert at Wild Northumbrian. Hello. Um, just come to ask you a few questions about your business. So if you could just tell us a bit about what you do and how it all got set up. It all got set up um, about two years ago. What's, yeah, about two years ago. And um, it was a, a long process of thinking about it first, getting grants, getting bank loans and things like that. And Getting, uh, getting the actual yurts and teepees that I wanted, the right, ra the, the right kind of places to, to set them out in the landscape that we've got. I and mean, we've got to about 25 acres. We wanted to create a kind of, a very alternative kind of holiday where, you know, you weren't together, right, all the way, you know, together in one space, that you had your own privacy and you could, you could really feel as though you were on your own in this landscape. Like, like we've had the privilege of being, you know, having all this time being here, 30 years, and you really, you really appreciate that sense of peace and calm and tranquility, and it's really healing. You know, if you just look out there and you've been, you've been work all day, it's just one thing, a, a wonderful thing to come back to. So we decided on yurts. Uh, we stayed in Lake District in a yurt, and thought this is this is good, but we could do something a little bit different. And as I say, you know, you were quite crammed together and you felt, hmm, you know, we wanted a bit more space. And teepees, because they're just ro so romantic and yeah. great for kids. Mm -hmm. And I always had that kind of, like, thing from when I was little. Yeah. You know, always trying to make camps, <laughs> and, like, in, in the shape of teepees and, yeah. and go into the woods and have, do that kind of thing. Yeah, great. And so we got t two down the bottom, two teepees down the bottom, and, and a workshop teepee, which um, you won't see the teepees here today because they've been tankered down for the winter. We've one, got one workshop teepee, which gets used for all kinds of events and gatherings and things like that. And our new thing, so we've got three yurts, and then one shepherd's hut, which is tucked up there, which is absolutely gorgeous. And it's made by a local company. Um, I'll get onto that. The whole local thing is really important. Mm -hmm. But I make about a local company called Trunk Reclaimed, who have now um, rebranded themselves to be the Northumberland Shepherd's Hut Company. Mm -hmm. And they make the most extraordinary um, shepherd's huts uh, from reclaimed materials, um, using local people making them. And we got to know them through Twitter, through there, and now we're their great friends. And they made our beds, which you'll see inside. We've made we've made so many local friends um, and support local businesses like um, the Hollybush down in Greenhuff, and they get a load of people from uh, from us and uh, Bow Rig and Cafe down the road and all the cafes in the, in the area and local uh, pr producers like the Northumberland Shepherds um, so sorry Sausage <laughs> Company uh, for our hampers and everything like that. But also, it's been a fantastic thing to uh, be able to meet so many talented craftsmen and bushcraft people. Uh, these guys who, who are staying in the yurt, they, they're going to be having a bushcraft um, half day with Rob Caton from uh, Wild Harmony, who lives just over the valley there. He's so talented, very, very talented. Do you think that's especially important in totally. a rural area? Absolutely. So, I mean, this is why we set it up. I, uh, it, it's part of the inspiration was my dad and my mum's business, Unison Colour, because they set it up 27 years ago now from nothing and from just my dad producing these parcels that he wanted to sell. We were living here um, and, you know, who was there to, to make, the, the, you know, they're, they're hand rolled, handmade things. They're very bespoke, very artisan and there's no skills, there's no skills here. And we just had to work with local people and create a... Oh, certainly, the, the market was there straight away because they're just the most phenomenally beautiful product. Um, and all we had to do was go down to London and all the artists went, I want that. It's that feeling that you are supporting people locally. You can give them flexible working hours. You can, um, you can teach them a trade. You can teach them lots of skills. But, and yet it was a lovely environment to work in with lovely things. What, do you have any advice for them if they want to set up their own business? Um, be, in, be passionate, be inspired by what you're doing. Uh, for me, it's, it's the actual, it, it is Northumberland that inspires me. Uh, for, for my dad, it was the colour, the light in Northumberland. 
it was you know we were drawn here all the time we had to live here because of him you know that's why partly why we're here I mean there's loads of opportunities up at Kield uh, lo loads of developments loads of things that are going to happen there I think in the future um, like the dark skies and that, things. absolutely see, Tour fitting in with that's that, yeah. right and 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 we want <laughs> I feel in one, one sense I've always felt very protective about here I don't want anyone to come here because you know what everyone to be swamping here but there's plenty of space actually here to, to create some amazing tourist to, and things in tourism here without spoiling the overall feel of this amazing empty beautiful space so I, I think just be passionate in what you're doing and be passionate about being in this wonderful space thing the, the other thing is that it may be a bit nerve-wracking if you think about competition but for me it's all working together we're creating a market actually here you put your fo footprint down it's a bit nerve-wracking to do that to start there's nothing here you'd say right this is what we're going to do we think it's going to work because it works elsewhere but Northumberland has so much space and scope anyway let's do it and then it actually I've got, ooh, there's someone else wanting to do that. Well, actually, that's fine because we can reciprocate. We can reciprocate business, but with Bow Rig, yes, they're a camping place, you know. But you know, people can come back next year and we'll work together. And Twitter's great for that. Facebook's great for that because then you can, you feel you're not isolated and fending people off. You're really, you're, you're, you're there's a sense of um, working as a community, you know. So you can share resources. You can share this space you can make a real buzz about the area do you place. get good feedback on social media and things yeah and yeah all the time we have we make friends and we uh we get bookings from it and we make new contacts for business and and professionals coming in and want to work with us yeah definitely yeah. absolutely essential good fun too it just offers, it's just got so much, a huge potential here, so much talent here, so much young talent here. I know that because I've worked in theatre with young people for the last 25 years and the last 15 years here, and I, I can see that the talent here. Right. Thank you very much. <laughs>